Hey guys, welcome to lesson 21, Balancing Wisdom with Love. So as you know, and as you've experienced for yourself, the previous chapter was all about the wisdom approach, about the sort of masculine approach of really putting in the practice and really starting to experience how what you are is not what you see. It's not the circumstances you perceive. It's not the thoughts that come up. It's not the feelings you feel. It's not the people you meet. So in a very clear way, you've discovered that sense of profound stability and changelessness with which you can now go forward in life being much less afraid and feeling le much less susceptible to being swayed by appearances. You have developed a greater sense of undisturbed presence in that sense. You've anchored yourself in what's always already your natural state. That is perfect. And for many people, this can create, um, especially it having been so intense for the past chapter, having been so consecutively the similar type of practice, that wisdom approach. For some people, this can form sort of a netty netty trap or where wisdom becomes too extreme and it's not balanced enough with love. Meaning that, again, the netty netty idea shows us that we're not the appearances. Now, as you may have already experienced, this can generate freedom, but also a sense of separation from your appearances. And it may give you the sense of righteousness or not, um, not, not paying enough attention or not giving validity anymore to appearances, because that's what I suggested you do to stop giving validity to appearances. And again, that is great. And that's very important for this realization of changelessness and clarity and stability and freedom. And at the same time, that needs to at some point be balanced a little bit more with the love approach. So in a sense, um, and what summarizes this is the Nisargadatta quote, which you also find in the text, which says, it's a very famous quote, but it's very complete. And it says, wisdom tells me I am nothing. Love shows me I am everything. Between these two, my life flows. So this is a very complete quote for what we're trying to get at, which is that balance between wisdom and love. Wisdom being the masculine approach of I'm not this, I'm not that. Love being the approach or the, the seeing really of inseparability or seeing that yes, appearances are not who I am. And yet what I am is also generated in the form of appearances and there is no separation. And therefore it is an expression of the one being and therefore it has validity, even though it does not have inherent meaning. So in this lesson, we'll focus a little bit on the aspect of forgiveness. Forgiveness of self, there will be a self-forgiveness meditation, but also it will show you how painful or hurtful feelings don't actually come from appearances. They come from untrue beliefs. And this is very crucial because if we combine the neti neti approach with the misassumed idea that it's actually the appearances fault that we feel hurt, then that generates that sense of separation and we become too extreme on the wisdom side, which any too extreme is no longer true wisdom anyway. So what we want to establish is that sense of freedom, that sense of inseparability, that sense of being balanced between, yes, I am untouched by everything I see. And yet at the same time, I am also able to allow myself to be touched by everything I see. I'm also able to allow things in. I'm also able to feel what is experienced precisely because I've discovered that it's not ultimately defining what I am. It's not changing who I am. And as such, you have gained the freedom not to refrain from appearances, but to actually enter them more, to actually appreciate them more without getting caught up in the idea that they contain inherent meaning. So this lesson is all about just in a very relaxed way, softening that edginess of the wisdom approach. Have fun.